Welcome back guys and thanks for tuning in again for another weekly video. This is the Seventeenth week of 2020. Sorry, I just had to count that because I'm an idiot. Unsweet and iced tea. Uh, as you guys know, if you've been here for a while, first of all, thank you so much. I the support has been literally insane. I'll get into that a little more later. I cannot thank you guys enough. If you've been with me from the beginning, if you just subscribed, welcome. Um, I'm glad to have everyone here. Literally, I'm just looking at these numbers right now. I got the live sub count pulled up. Oh wow, someone literally just subscribed. That's what time is it? 1.35 in the morning, guys. We were literally at 3.44 subscribers. I remember starting this channel, like in this this past summer, I remember how pumped I was when like by the end of this summer, I got to 100 subscribers. I started 2020 with 125 subscribers, and now we are, you know, nearing 350. So it's just like, the support has been absolutely mind-blowing. We just hit 25K on TikTok. If you guys are here from TikTok, what's up? I know a lot of you guys like to watch the live streams. I really appreciate that. This week has been an insane grind. School is really, getting down to the nitty gritty here. We're, uh, we're about a week and a half away from the end of the semester. Um, so we got, you know, finals coming up, hella projects flying around, do this paper, this test, blah, blah, blah. Um, I know you guys all feel that as well, whether it be high school or college. So, you know, good luck on that. Stay on the grind. Keep a positive attitude about everything because soon, hopefully June 1st, we'll be able to hang out with people. But I just want to encourage everyone to stay positive. Um, I've been thinking a lot about that. It's easy to get down during these times. You know, I'm trying to stay on the positive side, you know, like use this time to do things you wouldn't otherwise have to do. Use this time to work on yourself. We have social media, we have FaceTime, we have Zoom, we have Instagram, Snapchat, YouTube, Netflix, all this stuff. So just be thankful it's not the early 1900s. I need to get better about intros. I just literally love talking so much. Shut up, Connor. All right. I know when I do live streams a lot on TikTok, I notice there's a lot of questions that keep coming up. The same questions, and not that I not that I um, have a problem with answering them over and over again. I basically took all the questions I've been getting asked in like comments, DMs, Snapchats, all that stuff, which I do respond, by the way. I will respond to everything. Bet. I kind of took all the questions I've been asked and kind of just crunched them into a list of five questions that I feel are very overarching and can kind of clear up a lot of kind of who I am, who, who is Connor Pills. Number one, what does your life look like right now? I am a junior rising senior at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. Um, despite my passion and love and involvement in music, I am not a music major. In fact, I am a business major. I'm a double major in marketing and management. This upcoming summer, I will be interning with Kraft Heinz as a marketing intern. I am the president and business manager of the Other Guys Acapella Group. Just an amazing time. Love those guys. I am in the Chamber Singers, which is the you know top curricular choir at U of I. Mostly grad students, but somehow they let my ass in. I'm in the Varsity Men's Glee Club. Shout out to all the Glee Bros. If you're in here, what up? I'll be the treasurer of that organization coming up for this next year. And I'm also in Delta Sigma Pi Business Fraternity. Rush it. I don't know if I left anything out of that. Number two. How did you start singing? I get this one a lot. I get this one a lot. Um, probably actually the most common question I get. You know what? God damn it. It says my camera's about to die. They ask you how you are and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just keep Give me a second while I get a new battery. So for my fourth birthday, my aunt actually got me violin lessons. All through high school, like I, I was the concert master of my orchestra. I played played an orchestra for nine years. So so other than that, you know, I always played sports growing up. But then in eighth grade, I had a teacher by the name of Mrs. Mendelssohn. If you're watching this, Mrs. Mendelssohn, shout out to you. I'll get into that. She was my eighth, uh, seventh and eighth grade teacher. And she was like, hey, you know, we're having musical auditions today. You should come on out and, and try it out. I said, ah, I don't, I don't really know if that's my thing. Like, thanks for the offer, but I th think I'll pass. And she was like, it's not a commitment or anything, but like, I, I feel like you'd really enjoy it. You should try it out. So I was like, okay, you know, lo and behold, I uh, was the Tin Man and the Wizard of Oz and just completely head over heels, fell in love with all things music, singing, acting, theater, kind of found out that I really had a passion for it. In high school, I did, I did madrigals, I did choir, I did acapella, I did Allstate, I did 12 shows from freshman year to senior year, musicals and plays. Completely, completely transitioned into, into music. You know, I, I, uh, I played basketball my freshman year, and I got into baseball, and as much as I would have loved to keep playing that, unfortunately, it basically came to the point where I had to pick. I had to pick if I wanted to keep doing music and choir and, and all that stuff, or, or sports. I don't regret it, I, I chose music, um, but I do wish there was some way I could have kept doing both. Unfortunately, it's just too time consuming. So yeah, hopefully that answers that question. I probably could answer that a lot quicker. Number three, what do you like to do in your free time? 
So this is an interesting one because the way I kind of live my life is I don't have free time. <laughs> I don't leave myself free time very often. You gotta find that balance that's right for you. Some people need a lot more free time to just chill. I am a person that in my free time, I'm kind of like, ugh, I need to be like, I'm kind of someone that feels like I always need to be doing something productive. And if you know me, you can attest to that. I'm just someone that likes to fill my schedule up as much as it could possibly be filled. So free time, while kind of non-existent, I, I just love to hang out with people. I, I am a complete extrovert, as I'm sure is very obvious to you. Um, I always like being with people. I don't really need alone time. While I'm home now, I obviously, you know, do YouTube, I make TikToks, I am on social media, I play basketball, I go on walks, I lift, I do social distancing hangouts, watch TV with my family. So yeah, just... What up, guys? So, hope you're enjoying the video. I just figured I'd stop it real quick to say that in my somehow very tired middle of the night state, I forgot to mention one of the literal biggest hobbies I have, which is play golf. I, I'm obsessed with golf. I watch golf on YouTube. I watch videos on how to make my swing better. I watch funny golf videos. I watch trick shots. I practice my swing. I love to golf as much as I can. So yeah, I can't believe I forgot that out, but that's what happened when you make a video at 3 a.m. I'm editing right now. Hope you guys enjoy it. I get a lot of questions. You play video games. I'm not a huge gamer, never have been. Um, not that I don't enjoy video games. I've just never been a huge game guy. I'm good at like sports games, but like COD, I love it, but I'm, I'm ass. I suck. Uh, my girlfriend would literally kick my ass. Number four, how have you managed to toe the line between music and sports? I kind of got into this one. It's kind of weird because I don't quite fit that bill of like the jock, the total jock, and I don't quite fit the bill of like a total music nerd either. I'm kind of like a weird combination. A less attractive and less talented Troy Bolton. I think too many people get pigeonholed into one thing simply because that's like people want them to do that or people want you to be this and you feel like you need to be this and you feel like you can't do that because you'd be weird and you'd be looked at weird. I'm just gonna be straight up with you. There are definitely people in my business fraternity that are like, that judge me for being in music. And there are definitely people in music that judge me for being in a business fraternity or being a business major or being in a fret, you know what I mean? People are gonna judge, people are, people are gonna hate, people are gonna try to bring you down. And uh, I think it makes people uncomfortable when there's someone who is very just themselves and willing to it to do what they wanna do regardless of what other people think. I am someone who, who has gone through life very much with that strategy. And while a lot of people admire that, there are also a lot of people that don't like that. So yeah, that's basically what I'd say. It sounds super cheesy, but my number one piece of advice is always be yourself. It's easier said than done. There's definitely added challenges that come with that. I will graduate college in a year. I will look back and have absolutely no regrets. I will not be like, oh, I wish I would have done that, or I wish I would have joined that thing. Or I try to completely live every day to the fullest. And even during quarantine, I'm still trying to maintain that glass half full positive attitude. So yeah, if you wanna do choir, do choir. If you wanna do baseball, do baseball. If you wanna do both, do both. That's all I'm gonna say. And number five, what are your life and career goals? I get this one a lot too, just cause people are like, wait, like you make content and then like, you know, you're doing this TikTok thing and like you sing and then you do eating challenges and like, but you also golf and like you're making this YouTube channel with your bros. Fall sauce boys. But yeah, so 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 people are kind of confused. They're like, you're a business major and you're like working for craft, but yet like you're doing this content thing. And my main goal right now is to be a businessman. I am, you know, I'm interning with Kraft Heinz and and again I don't know yet because I haven't even started my internship. I haven't technically been with the company a day yet, but it just really seems like a place where I will thrive and fit in and and, and you know be pushed to achieve my best. And I've always envisioned myself, you know climbing the ranks at a business like that, um, marketing and management. But the content thing, obviously, I am super passionate about. I started this channel last summer because my girlfriend and a couple other people were like, I feel like you have like a good personality for YouTube. And I've just, and I absolutely love it. I, I haven't made a cent off of YouTube, but yet I've put in so much time and effort to it. For each video like this, you see probably between two and five hours editing goes into it. If you're gonna do YouTube, you really have to be passionate about it because you otherwise you will hate yourself. It's no easy task, but I love it. I'm super passionate about it. I'm a marketing major, which makes sense. I've always been passionate about content, but my, my main career aspiration at the moment still is business. I'm definitely someone that uh, wants to achieve and puts my mind to it and works, works my ass off to make sure I get there. That was a lot of stuff. <laughs> If you guys are still here, I really appreciate it. This might be the most unplanned YouTube video I have ever made in my entire life. If you're liking the content, leave a thumbs up, uh, share it with a friend, comment, it really means a ton to me. Still, every DM I get, every Snapchat, 
every comment just makes my day. So again, feel free. I'll link my Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. Um, I guess I just wanna say just thank you. We're gonna keep pumping out bangers here. Hang in there, stay positive, get those grades, and we will see you next week. Thanks, guys. Just cause I'm late, it don't mean I won't be right by your side When you need me and you can't see me In the middle of the night Just close your eyes